Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Jake Paul, the last fight he just had, and is he using demonic powers? Are these celebrities, boxers, influencers using demonic powers to further their career, further their agenda? Jake Paul on this video literally admits to using spiritual powers to further his career. Guys, you always say, Isaiah, it's not all demonic, it's not this. I'm telling you right now, a lot of these celebrities you watch, a lot of these influencers you watch are invoking demonic powers to give them favor, to give them influence. I did a video on the Island Boys talking about selling their soul to the devil, and this is a real thing happening. I want to warn you, if you're under 18, do not watch this video. Click off now if you're a child. Do not watch this. This video is spiritually graphic, okay? Not physically but it's spiritually graphic if you're, you know, maybe weaker or you feel like it's you have a hard time with spiritual content. This might not be for you because I'm going to show you some clips of Jake Paul meditating, invoking demons, and show you that this is happening in Hollywood and we need to expose this stuff because I'm even seeing believers now that are getting into light work and meditation and breathing exercises. And these breathing exercises are opening doors to demons. I'm going to show you this here in a minute, but let's watch this. This is from Jake Paul, his thing on Showtime where he was going to, um, box Tyrone Woodley and this was a precursor to that event and him doing some breathing again graphic stuff here guys but I want to expose this I want to show you how demonic this is to make sure that none of you get involved in this none of your kids friends family get involved in this if you're younger turn this off this is not for you but I want you to watch exactly hear what he says we're going to react to this here but we're about to hit a team breathwork session which is a ritual we've done ritual every fight we basically charge up Does it before every fight. breath and it's like a deep long meditation the first session I ever did, I like, it's so powerful. I started crying, I started laughing. And we're using a breathwork technique crying and laughing, to go into says. a non-ordinary state. It, it just brings up so many emotions. So, many so he says, we're going to use a breath technique to go into a non-ordinary state. That's what the guy just said. Thoughts. Maybe there's some weird spiritual higher powers controlling this career. Maybe there's some weird spiritual higher powers controlling this career. And this guy, by the way, made 35, or I believe it was $45 million last year. He was Forbes number two most paid YouTuber and influencer. And he says, maybe there's some spiritual higher powers controlling his career. There are, they're called demons. And I pray for Jake Paul. I've had dreams of me ministering to him. I want to see him get delivered. I want to see him get free. But guys, this stuff is absolutely disturbing. Watch this here. And now we're all going to turn and make a sound. Oh. They're invoking demons here. Literally. This is so demonic. This makes my stomach turn, guys. Invoking demons. People will probably be like, what the hell are they doing? But <laughs> uh, I think they won't be saying that after Sunday night. Okay, absolutely disturbing, guys. As you can see, demonic. Why are they crying? Why are they screaming? Because demons are entering into them. If you do deliverance, you know when a demon manifests, it oftentimes screams, cries, laughs. He said, man, we laugh during this. This is absolutely demonic. There's a guy that does this. He does what they call light healing and breathing exercises. And someone sent me all of his clips and I was going to do a video on him. But honestly, the stuff that his clips are way too graphic in the sense of, it felt like an open door. Now, are you going to get a demon from watching that? No. Are you going to get a demon from participating in that? Yes. These are not just breathing exercises. Now, you might say, well, why don't they say this is demonic? The devil hides. He comes as an angel of light. And this is very popular. Now, I'm going to read this off of a website that where they teach this and they do this. And I'm going to show you guys how demonic this is. But please do not start searching this, looking this up. Again, I want to be careful that I don't show the website I'm reading this off of. But this comes from their very own website. They say yogic breathing exercises are some of the most powerful ways of amplifying the witch power or the chi. These breathing exercises, this is a secular website teaching this, also stimulate the Kundalini serpent and facilitate this Kundalini serpent's ascension. There are many advanced breathing exercises. In order to perform these correctly and effectively, the basics must be mastered. Nearly all of the advanced breathing techniques are built upon the basics. Once you're adept in the basics, the advance will come easier. And this is what they say. The witch power is built in steps upon solid foundations. These are nothing to fool around with or play with as these exercises amplify and transform the life force. It's important. It's imperative to proceed slowly and in steps. Skipping ahead or overdoing these exercises can be dangerous. As with anything, if something doesn't feel right, stop. 
Any and all yoga exercises should end with 10 to 15 minutes of being in a relaxed, perfectly still state where the power lies as you'll uh, experience an energy buzz, which is amplification of your vril or witch power. So this is witchcraft. This is absolutely witchcraft. Yo yoga's witchcraft. These are not just breathing techniques. These are not just stretches. These are prayer stances to foreign gods and demonic powers and invoking demons. These boxers, these MMA fighters, these celebrities, and a lot of MMA fighters do this. You wonder how do they get this strength? Demons, okay? If you watch Jake Paul's knockout with Tyrone Woodley, this is demonic power. This is not human power. These are demons energizing him as he said it. Demons empowering him, possessing him to give him power to overcome his opponent and to give him power. A lot of mar martial arts do this. Guys, one of the reasons why I don't watch MMA, and I know I'm going to lose a lot of you here. I know a lot of you are going to be like, boo, and you're going to turn this off because I'm talking against MMA, which is an idol maybe to you, is because when I watch MMA, and I used to watch MMA, when I watch MMA, I feel something come over me. I feel an anger, a rage. I get too excited. I start yelling. I feel it's demonic. And I'm telling you a lot of these, not all of them, but a majority of these MMA fighters and these boxers are invoking demonic powers, are doing this light healing, these breathing exercises. The Bible detests witchcraft. The Bible says it's an abomination to God to stay away from it. And sadly, believers are getting into this. This is why we're preaching about this and sharing about this because the Bible says to expose darkness. So here you have one of the greatest or biggest, shouldn't say greatest, influencers in the world is advocating for this. And I was looking this up, guys, and I, don't, I see very little content on this, very little people talking about this. We need to expose this. Do I pray for Jake Paul? Absolutely. I wouldn't make this video if I w didn't pray for him. Do I pray for Logan Paul? Yes. Do I pray for these influencers? Yes. Do I pray for celebrities? Absolutely. I pray God would use me to minister to them and to Jake Paul and to Logan Paul, to anyone that's doing this stuff. There's freedom for you. You can be delivered. You might not even know that you're inviting demons in, but there's freedom and deliverance for you. If you're watching this and you're involved in breathing exercises techniques, I had a girl last week come to one of our meetings and say, I was all into witchcraft and sorcery and divination and I found your video on YouTube. I got into your deliverance map. I got delivered. Now I'm in church serving God. So a lot of these people are coming out of this. A lot of people are coming out of divination, witchcraft, sorcery and all of this. And God is reviving these people, saving these people. So no one is too far gone. This is not to rail on Jake Paul or any celebrity. It's to expose and to bring light to this meditation, this breathing exercise. This is all demonic. The only meditation you should be doing is meditating on the word of God. Don't be fooled. The devil comes as an angel of light. Do not do these breathing exercises. Do not get involved in yoga. There's no such thing as Christian yoga. It's demonic inherently. And so guys, we need to have eyes to see, ears to hear. We need to break out of this. Stop following these influencers. Stop following these celebrities that are doing this stuff, that are opening doors to the devil. The devil's always looking for an open door. Don't open the door to demons. If you need deliverance, go to my website. We have 1,500 people all over the world casting out devils. I have over 60 hours of training on the channel on how to cast out demons. If you want to learn about deliverance and what does the Bible say about demons and getting set free, check out the channel. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this? Guys, this is mainstream now. This is not hidden. This is mainstream. And I'm going to keep bringing light. I know the religious people hate it. I know some of you are like, why do you have to keep talking about the devil? It's because we're blasting down his gates. We're going after him. We're not giving him any room. We're not letting him live rent free. We're going to tax him. Comment down below. We'll see you in the next video.